Okay, we are going to solve problem 15.1 from Sadiku book and the question is find the Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine of AT and B find the Laplace transform of hyperbolic sine of AT and here is some hints uh, we know that hyperbolic cosine X is equal to one half times the quantity of E to the X plus E to the minus X and for hyperbolic sign it's the same thing but with the minus sign and here the derivative of hyperbolic cosine x is equal to hyperbolic sine x and the derivative of hyperbolic sine x is equal to hyperbolic cos x so this is our hints and now let's do the problem a first so the Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine AT and by the definition of Laplace transform this is the same as calculating integral from 0 to infinity of cosine hyperbolic AT times e to the minus st dt okay to do this we need to use integration by parts and here this will, this will be our u and this will be our dv and because this is our u we need to find out our du and for dv we need to find our v so if u is hyperbolic cosine of at du is the derivative of it so it will be sine hyperbolic AT but we need, by the chain rule we need to multiply it by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses so we will have A and do not forget DT and because our DV is this one we need to integrate this function E to the minus ST so our V will be minus 1 over s e to the minus st you can check all of this and we need to plug this to this formula integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du okay let's plug all of the parts to this integral so we will have u our u is cosine hyperbolic at and v v is this one so i will rewrite this as this over s multiplied by e to the minus st and we have minus sign here here is our uv and we need to plug our limits of integration from zero to infinity okay I will erase this. I think you know all the formula. Minus integral. The limit is from 0 to infinity. V du. Our V is this one. So I will rewrite that at plus 1 over S. E to the minus ST and du du is a so i will change this into a hyperbolic sine of at dt oh i want to write that first so hyperbolic sine of at e to the minus st dt and because this is a constant we can put this outside the integral so we will have a over s integral from 0 to infinity okay now let's plug this into this function so if this is infinity our e to the minus st will approach 0 and that means that all of this will become 0 and when this is 0 our e to the minus st will be 1 and then our cosine of at let's plug zero into this one will be one half times two 
becomes 1. So it is 0 minus minus. So this become 1 and become 1. So we will have this is 0 plus cosine it's 1 over s. And 0 plus 1 over s, we can erase all of this and just write 1 over s. 1 over s plus a over s integral 0 to infinity hyperbolic sine a t e to the max s t t t. So now we have another integral here and again we can do this by using integration by parts. So now same thing this will be our u and this will be our dv. Our dv is the same as before so our v will be minus 1 over s e to the minus st and our u is hyperbolic sign so du will be same as this but with hyperbolic cosine so du is a cosine hyperbolic a t dt and let's plug all the parts into this integral so we will have 1 over s plus a over s multiply by the quantity of now integral this integral will be uv uv is this one sine hyperbolic of a t and v will be minus over s e to the minus s t and don't forget to plug the limits of integration so i think i will have larger parenthesis and from 0 to infinity minus okay now vdu vdu integral vdu so integral from 0 to infinity v is this one so the minus sign will be positive and 1 over s e to the minus st and multiplied by du this one is du so a over s and i want to write the hyperbolic cosine first a t e to the minus st dt okay and we can take out a over s because it's constant from the integration so a over s integral 0 to infinity okay now let's calculate this one okay when this approach infinity this will approach 0 and so all the function will approach 0 and for when this is 0 the value of hyperbolic sign will be 1 half times e to the 0 power minus e to the 0 power and that will be 1 half times 0 so it will be 0 so all of this will be 0 minus 0 and this will cancel out so this will equal 0 okay let's close the parenthesis okay okay now we will have this so we can rewrite this as 1 Oh, sorry we will have 1 over s plus a over s times a over s and that will be a squared plus s squared integral of 0 to infinity hyperbolic cosine of a t and then e to the minus s t dt okay now we have this, all of this equal to this. And what is that means? If we rewrite this as i, 
okay, all of this, sorry, all of this as I, and all of this will also be I. So we can rewrite the equation as I is equal to, okay, let me use black here. So, how do I set? I is equal to 1 over S plus A squared over S squared times I. Okay, we have this equation and our whiteboard is full. Let's clean this up and continue. Okay, so far we have this equation and we need to solve this for i. So I will move this to the left hand side. So i minus a squared over s squared i is equal to 1 over s. And this is 1i, so I can rewrite that as s squared over s squared. And we can do simple arithmetic here, so we will have s squared minus a squared over s squared of i will equal to 1 over s. And so we can rewrite this as 1 over s multiplied by s squared over s squared minus a squared and this will cancel out and our i is equal to s over s squared minus a squared and remember that i is this integral and this integral is the laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine therefore the laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine of at is s divided by s squared minus a squared and this is our final answer for problem a we still need to do problem b Okay, for problem B, we essentially do the same thing. So let's do integration by parts. And this is our U and this is our DV. And our U is this. So our DU will be cosine hyperbolic of AT times A times A. So DU is equal to this DT. And V will be minus 1 over S e to the minus S T. Okay, the same thing as before. And let's plug this into integration by part. So U V, we will have U V. So I will have minus hyperbolic sine of A T divided by S e to the minus st and do not forget the limit of integration from 0 to infinity minus integral 0 to infinity v v is this so i can rewrite that plus du okay a over s multiplied by cosine hyperbolic of at e to the minus st dt and we can take this out out of the integral so we will have a over s okay now we have this and we have calculated this before so this will be zero when it is infinity and also be zero when it is zero so this will cancel out here this will be all equal to zero and we will have this one a over s multiplied by integral of zero to infinity of cosine hyperbolic of at 
t to the minus st dt. Okay. Okay. We know that this is the answer from the question A and we will have A over S. From the question A, we know that this will be S over S squared minus A squared. And this S and S will cancel each other. And we will have A over S squared minus A squared. Therefore, the Laplace transform of hyperbolic sine of AT is equal to A divided by S squared minus A squared. And this is our final answer for question B. And we have answered problem 15.1 from Sadiku book. And let me know if I made any mistakes in the calculation. And thank you for watching.